Hi, I'm Dan, and welcome back to the Rock Nerd Radio Show here on YouTube. A little while ago, I posted an unboxing video of some recent pickups that I got, and I talked about some figures that I haven't reviewed yet, but I've been meaning to. One of those figures was the new Marvel Legends Deluxe Angel figure, and I wasn't really sure if I really wanted to do a review of it, but somebody left a comment saying that they would love to see that video, so I figured, why not? So this is that video. Here is a review on the new Marvel Legends Deluxe Angel figure. We're going to take a look at the figure, all the accessories that he comes with, with those wonderful new wings, and uh, maybe some head-swapping options that you might be interested in. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. Come geek out with us on the Rock Nerd Radio Show. So here is the new Marvel Legends Angel Deluxe Angel. Uh, he's currently on a flight stand, so he's a little posed out, but I'm going to take him off the flight stand. This is just one of those Hasbro Pulse flight stands, which they're okay. I, I tend to notice this claw tends to kind of sink down eventually, so, you know, use at your own discretion. But here is the figure, and uh, just to kind of get up close to the figure itself, um, you know, he, he looks pretty phenomenal. I, you know, I always liked this version of Angel's costume. Uh, I, I have to admit I wasn't alive when he originally wore it. But it is a costume I have grown to like, especially because it kind of made a resurgence in the 90s, especially when he was still doing, uh, you know, under the Archangel guys. But the halo is just painted beautifully on there. The white lines are very crisp on mine. There's very little, like, paint run onto the red area. Everything matches up. Of course, when you move things like the arms, the white is no longer going to match, like, you know, as you can kind of see here. Um, but, you know, that's that's going to happen when it is a painted figure and not a, a fabric costume. The interesting thing I've, I find is that his gloves, it looks like there is a glove cut here, but nothing nothing moves. So it's weird that that sculpted line is on both arms is there. But otherwise, going down on the rest of the body, it looks, you know, it looks good. Um, and even the, the white between, like, the boot and the little paint here... It's not an exact match, but it's close enough where it doesn't really bother me. And I also really like Warren's head here. I think it looks very good. I think we got a very nice, clean sculpt and paint. You know, this new face printing technology that they're using has been great. Um, this is the standard Vulcan body, but the big difference is that it doesn't have the butterfly joints. And that's because of, well, the wings on the back. And the wings are tilted back and they plug into the back like this. So... That's the reason why I guess they didn't have room to put in those butterfly joints. But this figure looks great. It has all the articulation you would expect. We're going to get to the wings in a moment, but just to go over it real quick. The head can look up and down. It can turn. And because it's a ball joint, there is a little bit of like tilt on there that you can get to kind of go side to side. But, you know, I, I, I just kind of have him looking more or less straight on and might turn his head. But if you want to have him in a flying position, his head does go back about that far. Moving down to the arms, they can go all the way around. The wings do articulate back, so you can get the arms to go all the way around if you want. Uh, they also, let me just kind of pop the wings out of the way here a little bit. They, of course, go up about that far. Rotation up here, double jointed pinless arm, and then rotation at the hand, that is the same on both of these arms. He has nice ab crunch. He bends down about that far and can bend back that far. Um, a little gappy here, but nothing, nothing too terrible. I mean, you're probably going to have him flying or something like that. There we go. Of course, waist rotation. In terms of the legs, they can go up about that far, back only about that far. Uh, they do, let me show you that again because it may not have been the best shot. There you go. Uh, they can kick out a decent amount. Of course, they rotate all the way around. At the knee, we have double knee joints, pinless again. We have boot cut here. And we do have ankle tilt, as you can see, up to there. And we have swivel as well. And uh, there are peg holes in the feet if you're looking to put him on like a, you know, foot stand. But I don't think we're really coming here just to marvel at the, the, the figure's articulation. It's really the wings. The wings are the big, big selling feature on this guy. So I'm just going to move my camera down just a little bit so we can 
maybe get him in frame a little better. Um, these wings are very big as they are now open like this. They are kind of taking up my entire display area. But uh, the nice thing about the wings is that they do collapse down. So they collapse here and they collapse here. So you can have these as closed or as open as you might want. So right now they are closed up and uh, that's what they look like in like the most neutral kind of base stance. The, uh, the thing I like about these wings, they do kind of articulate up and down. So you really can have, you know, have them in any kind of position you want. Eventually they might, you know, collide like this, but uh, it still doesn't look that bad. And if you want to open them up here, you know, you get like really, really high archangel wings. Like it's just kind of, I don't, I don't even know the best way to show this. I probably should have pulled the camera out a little bit, but uh, I'm not really going to ever have them really that high. I think, I think this is probably the highest I'm going to go with them. They do, of course, move back as well. So you can have them going back. And again, they are very, very long, but you know that you can make for some dynamic, like flight poses like this, where Maybe he's dive bombing at something. I don't know. Um, but, you know, they, they rotate on both of these axes. So they can go forward and back. And then you can also move them up and down. So you can kind of even put them almost like in front of him to some degree. Um, you know, if he's standing neutral, you can have him like kind of hiding away in them. It, it is ver a very cool wing system. I, I do like it. I'm wondering if they are going to, because, you know, a, a lot of Marvel Legends these days, not that I'm knocking it is taking characters we already have and putting them out on pinless updated bodies. I'm wondering if they're developing a wing system for the metal wings of Archangel so that we can have, you know, an Archangel version with wings that are just as articulated as this and move around as nicely. I wouldn't be opposed to it. I'd be very, uh, I'd be very happy to see that. Now, this figure does come with some accessories. Of course, there are two alternate hands. They are open hands. This one a little more open than this one, but just like any Marvel Legends figure, if you want to swap them, you simply pull the one hand out, put the new hand in. I'll show you what both hands look like on the figure. There we go. So yeah, you know, here are our two alternate sets, or, or, or uh, a full set of alternate hands. They look okay. Um, I don't know, for some reason they're not really hitting me much on this figure. I think I like the fist better on him. But there is also an alternate head. And uh, this alternate head, the mask kind of comes down to his nose a little more. And he has a bit of a smile on his face. So if you want to see what that looks like, just like any Marvel Legends, pop it off the joint. Pop the new one on. This to me, this head sculpt looks a little bit more like a uh, maybe like a champion's look for archangel um almost looks a little friendlier so if you're going to have this angel in like a champion's display instead of an x-men display this might be the head you want to use i personally like the other one better so i'm going to return him back to his kind of the pref my preferred configuration and then we'll uh share some final thoughts all right so as it stands now this angel figure is honestly in my top 10 of the year I would have no problem putting him there. I don't know if he's going to make it through the whole year, but he's definitely there now. I really like this figure, and the wings really kind of sell it for me. This is uh, a really cool look, and I think he's going to fit well with my like early era 70s style X-Men. This is a, a figure that I really like and a character that I've always liked. Now, I will be truly honest with you here, and I, I bought two of these figures because... I wanted to get one and swap one of the unmasked, like uncloaked Archangel heads on it. So that's what you see here on the left. This is from that deluxe Archangel from a couple years ago. And this head fits really, really well. Um, it doesn't look like it's sitting too high on that neck joint or anything. The reason why I did this was I remember in the late mid to late 90s, Archangel kind of wearing this costume. He would go between the white and blue costume and the red and blue costume there was a an old toy biz figure that had uh, the metal wings with this kind of face style with the hair you know the hair out um it, it was originally done in the the purple and blue costume then they did a repaint in the blue and white style and then they did another repaint in the red and white style so i figured i could 
signify two errors with this. Now, I'm sure Hasbro is probably going to give us another angel, probably in the blue and white, with the style head, maybe with the metal wings, maybe with interchangeable wings. We'll see some other kind of deluxe release. So down the road, I might not need this anymore. But it, it was neat to have, and, you know, it was an easy part swap for me. I'm not going to sit here and act like it was a very tough custom to make. But uh, he is going to be sitting on my mid to late 90s section of my X-Men shelf because I also have that. So there we go. The, this is the new deluxe Angel figure. What do you think of this figure? Are you buying it? Are you going to swap ahead immediately so you could have kind of a 90s Archangel look? Are you happy to have a 70s giant size X-Men champion era looking angel? Let me know in the comments below. And until next time, I've been Dan. You've all been pretty awesome. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you around. Well, there we go. What did you think of this video? Sound off in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. Remember, we are making a push to get to 700 subscribers here on the channel. If we do that before the HasLab Giant Man arrives, I will be giving away the old Toy Biz Giant Man builder figure that uh, you've seen on my shelf and things like that. So hit subscribe, leave a comment, hit like if you're so inclined, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for tuning in. Come get